you know, you know, on top of priorities, what I can't help but communicate that I find frustrating is that there are actual crises happening in this country. A couple weeks ago, there was a devastating, devastating derailment in, in East Palestine, Ohio. And yesterday, I was just lucky enough to wrap up a hearing early and I was going back to my office. It was not scheduled, it, it wrapped up early. And there were people from East Palestine at my door because they weren't getting a response in, in their own other levels of government. And so they were just roaming around waiting for anybody to open their door to them to talk to them, any member of Congress to talk to them. And so we sat down and they explained what's going on. And this committee needs to hold a hearing on what is on the derailment in East Palestine. This is not just a disaster site, it is a potential crime scene. People are poisoned and their respiratory issues are getting worse day after day. And I, I, really, I'm, I, I really make this plea on a bipartisan basis, truly, I truly do. The chemicals that were spilled in East Palestine have short half-lives. Every day that we do not act on this is a day that the evidence evaporates from the scene. And I really plea for this committee to get together and not pursue this on a partisan basis. We need to have executives from the rail company, from Norfolk Suffolk here. We need to have independent scientists here. We need to have the EPA or whichever agencies, the CDC, DOT, whatever it may be, but this cannot be a political food fight. Evidence is evaporating and people are getting sick and every day that we go on without this, without accountability, I mean, it's, it's not even partisan because in my view, and I'll take ownership as well, both parties are failing in this moment to address the needs of people. And I just sincerely ask that, that we take this seriously because it's not getting handled at the levels that it needs to be handled. We need to know why there hasn't been a disaster declaration that has been requested yet. You know, I do know that the president is, is willing to offer one, but we need to cut through the red tape. And if I can just make that plea, because I do believe that this committee, this committee, the oversight committee, has the unique jurisdiction and power in this body to be able to do that, to cut through that red tape. And so, you know, Mr. Chairman, I, I sincerely make that plea, me as a Democrat, to you as a Republican, I, I really don't want us to drag this out because, again, the half-lives on these chemicals, the fo we don't let folks return to the scene of a crime. And we've been letting that potentially, potentially, for, for almost a month now. So for the folks that are there, you know, and for the folks that, that came in yesterday, I just sincerely ask that, that we put things aside and we get to work. We had eight hearings this week. You know, we all showed up, we did this job, but, but let's get this to the top of the docket, please.